Uh, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back. I've just seen myself, I, I feel like I'm a little bit like Mr Rogers today in the uh, old cardigan but it is the 1st of December today. We are officially in festive season and I'm really looking forward to Christmas this year and having a bit of a break. I will be taking a little bit of a break over Christmas. Not sure how long yet, but just a, a little, little tiny one. But in the meantime, we still have lots to get through. So today I have a, another package from Stabilo just here. And uh, we have these. So this is the Aquacolor Arty. These are Stabilo's watercolor pencils. Oh, there are a lot of them in here. 36 colors. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be swatching all of these out, giving them a test, reviewing them, and creating a piece of artwork, all in today's video, so don't go anywhere. So I've done a little, little bit of prep for today's video. Not as much as I could have, because you know, it wouldn't be an Uncle Frogface video if I had prepped absolutely everything. I'm gonna pop my glasses on, turn the camera around, and we're gonna get stuck into today's video. Right, okay, here we are. So, you might notice something a little bit different, and this is what I was talking about with my preparation part of it anyway. Um, this is not a new desk. I've simply covered it in craft paper, giving the illusion that it's uh, nice and seamless and clean in here. If I panned up here, you'd be able to see all of my art supplies that are gathered around my desk. I, it's organized chaos in here. But, um, you know, it's all about the illusion, isn't it? So, craft paper down means that I can replace it every now and then, keep it nice and clean. Also means we should get a nice pop of color when we're doing anything on white as well, or a black or anything else. Should help with a little bit of white balance. I can, if I do this, look, you can see, oh, it gets a little bit brighter, gets a little bit darker, but it's only very slight, which was a big issue before when it was just an all white desk. So. This hopefully should help, but let's get to these Stabilo Aquacolor pencils because I am no stranger to Stabilo watercolor pencils, um, but I've not had this full set before. So this is 36 pencils. Look at that. Isn't that sound? <gasps> should I do that again? Ready? like art ASMR. <laughs> so what I really need to do is go and swatch these out. So just like any other watercolor pencil, there are a variety of ways that you can use these. You can use these directly as a pencil. You can put water on, like put it down and then put water on it and then spread it. You can lift directly from the pencil. It's yeah, there are lots of possibilities. So and do a little bit of swatching first. I'm not gonna make you sit and watch the whole thing, um, but essentially I'm gonna go through, and I think I'll go top to bottom, and I'm just gonna go through and do a little bit of a swatch in pencil so that I can come back afterwards, and then go over with a little bit of water and just see how they activate. So this paper, by the way, this is just a cheap watercolor paper. Um, it's, it's, I think it's Hobbycraft brand, potentially. Um, and I'm just doing this because, yeah, it's cheap and it's it's a swatch, so it's absolutely fine. Well, quite a few different browns in here. That's that's nice. Be good for like tonal work. Anyway, as I said, I won't make you stay around for all of this. So I'll be back in just a second for you once I've swatched all of these out, and um, we'll carry on testing these pencils. Right, so that is everything swatched out. It didn't take too long at all. Just looking on the camera, and some of the colors look similar, but actually in person, there is some real differences in the color. I'm looking mainly these oranges and reds here. For instance, this is a much more yellow orange, and this is a much more red orange. Similarly down here, we're starting to go more into the, the purples and the mauves. We've got quite an orange red. Then we've got kind of a medium red, and then this is quite a purple red. So I can see a difference here that I'm not sure if it's being picked up quite as well on the camera. And that is something to be aware of when you buy such a large set. Ready? 
of anything, uh, whether that's markers or pencils or, or whatever, that you, you start to get some similar colours. And that's that's just part and parcel of art supplies. Um, but just wanted to say they are they are actually very different in person. Right. I've got my water uh, brush here. So I'm just gonna go through and start giving these a little bit of a brush and a spread out. Might be a little bit too much water there. Oh, very nice. It activates super easily. So I'm gonna try with a little bit less water for the, the next color. Let's just have a little bit of a damp. Yeah, there we go. Literally just needs to be a little bit damp and it comes on beautifully. And there we go, we're starting to see the difference in the tones now. Now we're adding a bit of water, it really does. The pigments start to, to shine through. I'm just gonna clean my brush intermittently as we go. Um, so I'm not going to make you watch all of this, just like I didn't make you watch all of these swatching. You'll notice the one colour I haven't swatched is the white, and that's because this is white paper and it's not going to show up at all. But I am going to do a little bit of blending with these. So I will use the white I want to blend as pencils and blend as watercolours and see what it's like using this on wet paper as well. So let me go through all of these and then we'll come back in just a moment and do a little bit more testing. I love this blue. Uh, right, be back in just a second. Okay, so I've moved these over to the side just a little bit so we can see this a little bit clearer because as you activate it with water, the difference in the tones of the colors really comes through. So now you can really see the difference in the similar tones down here. Same with the greens as well and the purples. You can really see that they are actually very different. Another thing that I've always liked about Sabilo pencils, and I'm glad that this happens on all of the colors, because believe me from using other watercolor pencils, it's not always the case. Not every color behaves the same way, but we take a closer look at some of these, for instance, all through here you can see where I've been activating it with water there are no pencil marks there so one pitfall often with watercolor pencils is that you color then you activate water and you can still see the pencil marks that's not the case here it has it's lifted and it is dispersed very very nicely so there are a few other things I want to test. First is a little bit of blending on the page. I'm going to take two similar tones. There we go. I'm going to put them close to each other. Just lay a little bit down. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in the middle. And then we're going to do a wet blend. So I'm just going to take this and pick up from each side and blend in the middle. You can also see those pencil marks disappearing in that section as well where the water goes down. So I was just talking about with the dispersal of the, the pigment. We have more of that colour on that side, more of this colour on this side and you can see we've actually got quite a nice gradient there. Nice, very nice. Right, now I want to try mixing two colours together on the page. So I'm going to do a bit of green here and I'm going to think to myself actually I want that to be a little bit more blue so I'm going to lay a little bit of blue on top of this for a new tone. Not that you really need to when you've got 36 colours to choose from but Variety is the spice of life, as they say. And then if I mix these together, and yeah, we get a gorgeous new colour that is not in that set over there. So it's not in these swatches. We've made a brand new colour, and it's blended together pretty seamlessly. Um, I also want to try lightening a colour as well. So let's take, we've got, yeah, we've got this, this purple over here. And lay this down and then I'm going to put some white in there as well so usually I would use white for 
blending pencils together and it is actually doing that which is is nice to see and then i'm going to activate that ah we get a lovely kind of lilac-y color from the purple and the white mixing together good so the white does give a little bit of opacity and it does change the tone of the color as well right let's try i'm going to try with a red this time lifting the paint directly from the brush this is a favorite technique of mine i have to say you literally just load up the brush like this and there we go it's really good for fine details but you can just wash it out as well that is another way to use colored pencils and then finally this is something that was recommended to me that I've actually never really tried, and that is making the paper damp first. So I'm just going to give this a little spritz. There we go. And then using the pencils on top of that. So let's go with, I'm going to go, oh, let's go blue. I've got this blue here. And you get a much softer color going down you barely have to touch the paper and it's it's really going down well so you get it's very textured because of the paper as expected let's see if i try to blend in another color to this am i able to get a nice gradient oh that is so interesting i've never done that before and actually rather like it it gives a, a much more textured look and then if i go over the top of course actually let's try spraying first shall we oh get a nice bit of color bleed there very good and then if i just go over with the brush interesting it still gives a little bit of that texture I'm sure if I work this more, yeah, the more you work it, the more that texture disappears. But that is actually a very, very interesting technique uh, for a little bit of texture. Right, that is everything for testing these. So I did say that I had done a little bit of preparation. I'm going to move this over to the side because it's always good to have your color swatches on hand um so there is something else i've done to prepare for today and that is let me see if i can find it this i have actually <laughs> gone ahead and properly prepared a piece of watercolor paper so this has all been stretched and put down um and actually if you want to see a tutorial on how i did this it will be a tuesday top tip coming out this tuesday coming so every Tuesday I do a little top tip. Sometimes they're digital art, sometimes they're traditional art, sometimes they're mental health. There's a whole playlist of just little one minute clips of uh, my best art and craft supplies. So the reason I've done this, you can see here quite clearly, this paper has really bent and buckled because of the water that's been added to it. And we're using watercolors, so there's gonna be a lot of water in it. So by pre-stretching, my paper it should eliminate or at least drastically reduce the amount of buckling and bubbling and everything on this paper plus it gives me a nice solid surface to draw on as well um, the one thing I haven't done is actually prepare a piece of artwork to do I have something in mind but I, I need to kind of go away and think about it and sketch it out so I'm going to take a little bit of a break, have a cup of tea and uh, get myself sorted here. I'll give these colours a little bit of time to dry out as well. And when we come back, hopefully we will have, and I'm thinking I'm going to go nice and festive on this, we'll have a nice pencil drawing ready to be coloured with these lovely Stabilo Aquacolor RT pencils. Right, tea has been consumed, sketching has been done, and uh, I have the piece that I'm going to be colouring in under here. Um, so, 
this is a bit of nostalgia for me, uh, and probably for a lot of you as well. But growing up, I the the books and the movies of Raymond Briggs uh, and the Snowman and Father Christmas and this the Snow Dog are they they're just you know that they're something I hold dear in my heart. And I've never actually done any Raymond Briggs illustrations before. But I thought with his style, which is very pencily, very watercolory, this might work well. So I've done a very loose sketch here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully try to turn this into a finished piece of artwork. And hopefully it will come together. Wish me luck! So, hands up, confession, yes, I forgot to press record when I started this, but... Starting with the background, I wanted to get some texture in this, so I really like the way the wet paper reacted with the pencil. So I've wet the area, I've used a, a mop brush and wet all the area and then gone in with the pencil. But this whole process is very much the same thing all the way through, so I'll just quickly explain what I'm doing. I'm, I'm working in sections, I'm going in laying down the colours that I want in each area first and then just going in either with a water brush or with a brush dipped in water and then blending those areas together to kind of get that nice homogenous colour within each section and this is my base layer so I just want to go through get all of my base colours in first then can start thinking about extra details on top but I'm really pleased with how this is going and by using different amounts of water and different wetnesses of brush you can either get a really smooth flat colour or you can get a little bit of texture in there which is rather nice also means that you can as I showed before you can mix different colours together just to get subtle variations in the hue and uh, a little bit of differentiation which is is really fun so I've actually uh, already shared this image over on my patreon discord um, and patreon itself uh, all of those members not only did I get free entry into any giveaway that I do which uh, I'll be announcing winners of one giveaway and launching another giveaway very soon uh, but they also get sneak peeks and behind the scenes things and get to find out what's going on in my life outside of art and, and just generally and, and family stuff and it's really nice to, to have that community where we all come together and just talk sometimes about art, sometimes about other things so if that's your kind of thing, if you want to join the frog pond then the all of the details for the Patreon uh, are down below and get automatic um, entry for the Discord there as well so we can all join in and chat together but yes Enough about that. Uh, here we are, I'm going in getting more and more details down. The bit that I really enjoyed with this was defining everything afterwards. So Raymond Briggs has got this, this lovely pencil style and I know there are some watercolors in there but it is predominantly pencil so I was keen to keep some texture in this. Um, oh, I really enjoyed this section so going in and putting in the shading on the snow dog was just absolutely loved it mixing a gray and a dark blue together very lightly it turned out very very nice um but yeah the bit that i enjoyed the most about this was finishing everything up with line work so you'll see me very shortly come in and there are literally three four there are four black lines in this so that's the two dots for the boy's eyes and the two lines for the dog's eyes everything else is colored line work and i've picked colors that kind of go with what is surrounding it so we get a, a more kind of subtle line work but it's it's still there it's just not a harsh black line you'll see here i'm using the brown that I used in the hair to do the line work around the, the face and uh, and in the hair as well and, and eyebrows and all that stuff. I think it just gives a more illustrative feel. Um, but we are coming very close to the end now so I am going to let you enjoy the process of this all coming together with the final line work and final bits of detail and I'll come back to you at the end with my final thoughts.
And there we go, all finished. This frisk paper usually is fantastic anyway, but actually preparing it nicely like this, it's held up very, very well. I I'm, I'm, oh, love frisk paper, but also love these pencils. I mean, just look at the variety of textures and tones and techniques. I'm, I'm super, super pleased with these pencils. Definitely go and check them out if you haven't already. But I'd love to know what you think of my illustration of the snow dog. Uh, please do leave a comment down below. There'll be lots more festive things to come on the channel as we work through December. As always, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. And until next time, goodbye.